Betco. Our name has been trusted by the self-storage industry since 1984 for high-quality self-storage buildings and steel roll-up doors that stand the test of time. We are well known for our commitment to the manufacturing of quality steel roll-up doors and components at our 125,000 square foot U.S. manufacturing facility. Betco doors range in sizes up to 10 feet wide and 10 feet tall and are available in a variety of colors. Our steel roll-up doors are ideal for many applications, including self-storage and residential outbuildings. Betco stands behind our doors with the best warranties in the business. Our warranties include a 40-year paint warranty, 10-year spring warranty, and a 3-year mechanical warranty. Betco's door hardware kits are shipped with the doors in individual bags and include mounting brackets, fasteners, door stops, latches, tension adjusters, and pull ropes. Doors may be shipped or are available for pickup at our Statesville, North Carolina location. We recommend the use of professional door installers to perform installation, adjustments, and repairs. When installing Betco doors into the opening, employ proper lifting equipment and lifting procedures. The steps for installing a Betco roll-up door should be followed closely to ensure safety and hassle-free performance. Here is what you will need to install a Betco roll-up door. A tension bar and spring tool, both provided by Betco. In addition, you will need a box cutter to remove plastic and bands, pliers to bend the cotter pin, safety glasses, gloves, level, step ladder, tape measure, drill, a 3 8 inch nut driver for the drill, a 1 half inch wrench for the spring, and a 7 16 inch wrench for the 1 quarter inch bolts. Here are the 11 steps to installing your Betco roll-up door. Step 1. Ensure the door opening is the correct size, the jams are plumb, and the header is level. Step 2. Place the door on the floor inside the door opening. Make sure to place the door on a cardboard crate or other soft material to avoid scratching the door curtain. Do not cut the strapping bands at this time. Step 3. Assemble the door brackets and door stops with proper fasteners to the door track prior to attaching to the door axle. Make sure to install the brackets on the correct side of the door. Also, ensure the door is properly oriented so the door will roll down into the track. Step 4. Pull the door spring out past the door axle and insert the door spring tool through the coils of the spring and tight against the door curtain. This will temporarily hold the spring out to simplify attaching the spring to the bracket with the proper bolt. Step 5. Once the spring is attached, remove the spring tool and allow the bracket to slide over the end at the axle. Then slide the large washer over axle and install the cotter pin. If the door is 7 feet wide or greater, a bracket must be attached on each side of the door. So please repeat the process of pulling out the door spring and using the spring tool so that you may attach the second bracket. It can be easier to work by placing the roll door on the sawhorse. Step 6. Position the bottom of the door tracks against the back of the framed opening. Lift the door axle assembly to position against the door frame. Lift the door axle assembly as opposed to lifting the door by tracks. Door installation should be handled by two installers to lift and position the door. Lifting equipment is recommended for large doors. Do not leave the door unattended at any time during installation to the framed opening. Step 7. Attach the right door bracket assembly and right track to the wall jam with the proper fasteners for your frame construction. Measure and position the outside edge of the right track. Position the outside of the left track the distance of door opening plus 4 inches. For example, an 8-foot opening should have a distance of 8 feet 4 inches outside of the tracks. Attach the left door bracket assembly and left track to jam. Be sure the tracks are plumb and level. Step 8. Pre-tension the door springs by rotating the entire door axle assembly at least two complete turns in the up direction. While holding the bottom extrusion of the door securely on both sides, remove the protective wrap and cut the straps around the door. Pull the bottom extrusion down into the door tracks to about three feet, securing the door extrusion at all times. Step 9. Install the door stiffener and door handles using 1 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch carriage bolts and kept nuts. Install the door pull cord and door latch assembly, making sure all bolts and nuts are tight. 
Install felt strips over latch nuts and on the back of the door as shown. Warning, since the springs are under extreme tension, never remove spring fasteners or door stops. Doing so would allow the door to unroll rapidly and this could cause severe injury. Step 10, here are some tips for adjusting spring tension using the tension adjuster. If tension adjusters are on both sides of the door, two installers will work in conjunction with each other to adjust the tension. With the door in the closed position, fully insert the tension adjuster bar into the hole on each tension adjuster. Pull down on the bar one click at a time to increase the tension. Make sure that each side has an equal amount of clicks for proper operation. Lower and raise the door to test the spring balance. If the door is easy to close but hard to open, increase tension. If the door is hard to close but easy to open, decrease tension. To decrease the tension, you must place the adjuster bar in the hole and lightly pull down until you can pull up on the spring-loaded cam lock. Decrease tension one click at a time for safety. Doors with opening widths of 6 feet 11 inches or less use the one tension adjuster located on the left side of the door. Doors with opening widths of 7 feet or more use tension adjusters on each side. Step 11. Preventative Maintenance When installing doors, the axles, springs, and door tracks should be lubricated to ensure smooth movement. Over time, these oils dry out and problems can arise where rubber and plastic surfaces come in contact with metal doors and tracks. To assure trouble-free operation, we suggest doors be rolled down and springs and axles be lubricated with aerosol lithium grease while units are vacant. At the same time, door tracks should be sprayed with aerosol clear silicone. Cans of aerosol lithium grease and silicone are available at any auto supply or home improvement store. These simple, quick, preventative measures will assure your doors work smoothly every time. Preventative maintenance should be performed annually for the life of your door. This completes the installation process. By following these 11 steps, you are sure to enjoy years of great performance from your Betco Steel Roll-Up Doors. For more information, contact Betco directly.